In 2011, the Holy Spirit prompted me using 2 Corinthians chapter 6 to leave the apostate church. This is found in 2 Corinthians 6, starting in verse 16. What agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. Therefore, come out from among them. And be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. I knew that when this passage was saying, come out from among them, it was speaking of the false Christians, the false believers. I was convicted because I knew that even though I was a pastor in the church, even though I was going to church almost every day and reading my Bible, I knew that Jesus was not really my master. I knew that I wasn't separate from those who were in sin. And I knew that if I wanted the Lord God as my father, I had to come out and to be separate. I wanted to know if it was true. And so I put it to the test. I put my faith in Jesus, and I can tell you today that Jesus has become my father. I have become his son, and he takes care of my every need, and it is such a blessing to be led by him. I would never go back to the old church. I would never go back to the old ways because Jesus takes care of my every need. I encourage you to also come out and be separate from them. Because Jesus wants to be your teacher, your leader. He wants to take care of your every need. And unless you come out and are separate, he cannot lead you and guide you because you will have them caring for you. You will have the world taking care of your needs. Jesus is jealous. Our God is a jealous God. He wants to be our leader, our teacher. He wants to be our guide. He wants us to bow down before him and not them. Are you ready for Jesus to lead you, for him to be your father and for you to be a son or a daughter? Or are you content with them being your fathers and your mothers? May the grace of Jesus be with you.